Hello there, guys. My name is PewDiePie. Uh, I'm just joking. I'm not one bit like PewDiePie. What is up, guys? It's me, Matt. I'm back once again. Um, yeah, we're back with Matt Talks. Yay! Um, I know it has been a little while since the last time I have done my Matt Talks. I was actually planning on filming this on um New Year's Day, like New Year's Eve, but um. Obviously, it was my mom's birthday, so um, I decided not to do it. And I was busy yesterday, so I couldn't start filming it. So I am filming it today, which is gonna be very epic. Um, happy twenty twenty to everyone. Um, it's twenty twenty. Um, a lot of big things coming, so totally recommend to subscribe. You do not want to miss it. I swear, you do not want to miss it. Like, there's gonna be some good quality content coming. You'll see. You see. So today on Matt Talks, we're gonna be talking about random um topics that um I missed um talk talking about. So I'm pretty much gonna be talking about everything that like happened like during Christmas to like about now. So there's gonna be a bunch of like um things that are some old news plus some new news. So let's get the show into the road. So now, guys, I'm gonna be talking about the movie Soul. Now I know that we have talked about the movie Soul before, and I just want to say that, dang, I am so damn wrong about the whole movie. Like literally, Soul is a completely different movie. Um, like I said in my uh, Mad Talks, my last Mad Talks video when I talked about Soul, um, I said it was like similar to Coco, because it's like going to the undead and everything. But um. No, it's, it's, it's a completely different story. So, um, totally recommend checking it out. And yeah, it's completely free. So, um, you don't need to pay like, uh, 30 bucks to watch it. So, for all the people that like Disney movies, you can watch it. Um, it, I do have to say it's a pretty sad movie, but, um, it was a pretty good movie. The next thing that we're going to be talking about is the KFC console. The KFC console? Am I am I going crazy? Because dang, KFC is making a console. Like this is legit. This is a legit thing. Um I heard that um it has a really really good graphics card. Um totally not as great as mine. Uh, I don't or maybe maybe equivalent, but um I don't think it's the same exact one. I may be wrong. But um it has a pretty good graphics card, and um, supposedly you can cook your chicken in it. Or, like any food you want, you can cook it in the KFC console. And it looks like a bucket. <laughs> um, I do not know why KFC is doing this. Um, just to get some cash, try to get some money, try to make some juicy <laughs> memes. Um, yeah, I do not know. But, um, it's very interesting to see that um KFC is making a console. Um, I think it says coming in twenty twenty one, or I may be wrong, but um, uh, it's supposedly it's coming very soon, and um, yeah, I I just do not know what to say about it because it's, it's it's really unusual to see um uh, KFC um make a console or like any fast food chain to make a console because that is like really different. That is like something completely um unique and um i did not know how many people think about this probably many people are like wow kfc is making a new console that's crazy but um yeah um i just do not know how to say about this because um really different very unusual but um we just have to wait and see what, what, what will happen for that Hello there guys, it's Editor Matt here. I'm going to show you everything that the KFC console has to offer. So supposedly it is, it powers your hunger. It's the first world um, chicken chamber, the first build ever. It builds and designs a cooler master, which is interesting. So it cools while it heats your chicken. That's very weird. It also has a core i9 9th gem, a uh, gen, um, uh, I think this is a graphics card. I may be wrong, but yeah. Oh no, this is the graphics card. Um, wow. Um, yeah, that's crazy. So they fit this thing and this thing into like this. How? That's impressive. 
never run out of space for games. That's very interesting. It has VR, it has ray tracking. It goes for um, this much frames to, to 240 hertz. Wow, that's and 4K TV gaming. That's crazy. Um, now back to the video. Now it's time to prepare to dive into some YouTuber news. But before we dive into new um, YouTube news, we're gonna be talking about something very unfortunate that happened. Um, they officially announced that um, Metal Face Doom is um, he passed away. Um, they took another one of us once again. Um, before twenty twenty. Um. Personally, I I I didn't really like listen to his songs that much. Um, I only know very little about him, but um, it's very sad to hear that another one um, their lives got taken away again. Um, and even shock, even more to a shock, they actually announced that he actually died two months ago. So. Yeah, so he actually died on the October 31st of 2020, but um, they did not announce that to the public until like two days ago. Um, like I said, it's, it's very sad to hear um, like another rapper um, has to bite the dust once again. But um, I just wish the family uh, the best recovery from um, that tragic death and um, I wish them the best for the future. Now, after that sad segment, we're going to dive into YouTubers. Now, once again, um, we have another sad segment to um announce. But um, um, maybe you guys have not heard the news. Um, Alex Wasabi, yeah, the guy that makes all those funny Dora stuff. Um, he said that he wants to um take a break from YouTube, or supposedly, like his video says, he wants to quit YouTube and um, this news broke out and this started to blow up and I do have to understand because this guy has done YouTube for 15 years he has done when the platform was just brand new and um, he, he just wants to take um, like a like a good break he wants to like rethink of what he can do because his according to him his content is kind of going low and um yeah so we lost another good youtuber but i like i said we must respect because they have been doing this um job for such a long time like they have been you know um they just have been working very hard to you know post content um every day and um we just have to respect that um that change and um it is just the way it is, and um, I just wish him the best, and um, hope that um, life um, will go on well, and um, wish him um, to enjoy his um, his life like a normal human being. So, yeah. All right, now we're going to be talking to something a little bit more interesting, and this came out um, about two days ago as well, I think, and it was Mr. Beast. YouTube Rewind. Now, I have watched this, and I do have to say, this is probably one of the best. Um, probably following after PewDiePie's one that he did in 2018. But, um, obviously, this is um, very interesting. They show a bunch of creators. They show a bunch of things that happened, like all the things that like blew up, like Minecraft, Among Us, Fall Guys. Um, they, talk, they talked about... Um, a bunch of YouTubers, um, Unis Honest, if you guys do not know that, I'm sorry, you missed out. If you do not know what Unis Honest is, you missed out. But, um, they talked about Unis Honest, Minecraft, Among Us, Fall Guys, um, they talked about a bunch of games, about, they talked about charity work that they did, um, just a, a lot of amazing things that happened, but uh, during the same time, the worst thing that has happened is COVID and um, the loss of many um, people that we lost during this year, like Chadwick, um, Kobe, um, 
um, R G B. Yeah, we have we have lot we have lost so much um lives in twenty twenty, and um yeah so not only it it was cool but it was also great because they were reminding all the creators that you know all the all the big things that happened in twenty twenty plus reminding ourselves that um a lot of the things that were bad in twenty twenty, but it turned out to be the good and the bad and um. That is something that I really, really liked about the the twenty twenty um, um creator thing, like the, like the rewind, and um. It was cool to see that. Hello there, guys. This is just editor Matt here. I'm about to throw in an extra one because um, yeah, um, because I just um decided to add an extra one, so I'm gonna add an extra one. So, um, if you guys have not heard, Ryan Garcia recently had a fight with, I think it's Luke Campbell, I may be wrong, but, um, they had a boxing match, and Ryan Garcia won, which is pretty obvious, because he, he's a, he's a good boxer, and, um, yeah, he, he, he was a pretty good boxing, and he hit him right in the rib, yeah, like, um, Ryan Garcia did the final KO punch right in the rib, he's like, ooh, that was, that was painful, but, like, yeah, it was interesting, and um, it was also pretty um cool to see um Ryan Garcia um Ryan Garcia to get another KO punch, and um, hope him the best for the future. And that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I hope that you guys enjoy. Um, I'm gonna be doing a new video very soon. Um, so keep a lookout on that. I hope that you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys soon.